Hey guys, Grumpy Gills here. Out again at uh, Hudson Beach area. Um, gonna do a little inshore fishing this morning. Got my little uh, paddle tail shad on here. I'm gonna throw it out in these little grass flats area. See if we can catch on any uh, trout or snook or redfish, something like that. Be a pretty nice to start off the morning. Alrighty. Got our first trout, guys. He's a big one, too. He might be keeper size. We gotta be 15, and he is 15, almost 16. Oh, wow, nice. First keeper trout of the day. There he goes, guys. There he is. It's good. He's almost 16 inches, so he is keeper size. We're gonna keep him, put him on the ice. All right, guys, hooked up again. Like another trout. Oh, he's a little baby, though. Oh, he just freed himself, so. There you go, that's alright. He wasn't keeper size anyway. He's only about 9 or 10 inches. It's pretty small. So, alright, but they're starting to starting to come alive out here. Right, check it out, guys. I was actually on the phone with my wife, um, and I caught another keeper size trout. He's uh, about 15 and a half, so he's going in the box as well. We're going to be doing a trout catch and cook, it looks like. Alright, check it out guys. It's my fourth trout of the day. He's actually about a half an inch short. He's about 14 and a half, so we're gonna go ahead and let this guy back. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're out here. They're, they're feasting right now. So, um, saw a lot of big blow-ups. Um, I don't know what they were. I saw a um, big old stingray and a cobia swimming with it. Might be some more cobia out here, and that might be what's blowing up on the top. So, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully we cook one of those up. But, alright guys. On to the next one. Back at home, guys, we're gonna show you the three trout that we caught. I'm gonna show you how to flay those up. Um, first, we're gonna start with this one right here. We'll put these other two back on ice. You gotta wait their turn. Flip up that fin, make our incision. Follow that backbone. over the stomach cavity. I'm gonna angle that knife down on the other side of the backbone now. We get all that meat. Great. Throw it in our bucket. Alright. Flip this guy over. Just checking to make sure there's no bones left in this fillet. This the last thing you want to do is choke on a piece of fish with a bone in it. Yep, looks good. Alrighty. So we're gonna grab our other two. We're gonna get them filleted up next. Okay guys. We're in the kitchen, we've got the uh, the trout all filleted up. I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare it. 
This is what I use to season all my fish, the Everglades seasoning. Um, got our six fillets here. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit on each of them. Go generous with this stuff too. It's not gonna hurt the fish. All right, so our fillets are seasoned and we have our pan heated already with olive oil. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop them in. Okay, we got our fillets in the pan cooking up. We're gonna do three minutes on this side and then probably two minutes on the other side. Okay, our fish is cooked. We're gonna take it out of the pan and then I'm gonna show you what we do next. Okay, so we have a whole lemon cut up and we're gonna get the juice. We have butter in there melting and we're gonna add a clove of garlic, fresh garlic in there. So we're cooking this mixture up for about a minute. Okay, now we're gonna take the, uh, the butter and lemon juice and uh, the garlic and we're just gonna spoon it over the fish. Give it a nice little bath in it. Alrighty guys, here is the finished product. Looks delicious, I can't wait to try this. All right, now for the moment of truth. Trying the trout. Mmm. That's good. Very flaky. Um, kind of like snapper meat, a little firm. Flaky, no fish taste at all. Um, all I taste is the seasoning that I did it with, a little bit of lemon and the garlic. Mm, it's delicious, a great fish to eat. I definitely recommend trying it.